The American story of democracy is a story of contradiction. We are no longer the land of opportunity. You look one way and you see enormous wealth and power. And you look the other way and you see people struggling. And that contrast is something that Americans have to attend to. Dr. Ronald F. King is a distinguished scholar of political science whose research broadly covers issues of democratization in the U.S. and Europe. Among the highlights of his illustrious career, he's been awarded Professor Honorific from the University of Babesh Boyoi for his role in developing social science curricula across post-communist Romania and is author of five books on American and Romanian politics. The bottom line for almost everything I do has to do with democratic empowerment. How do we construct a society of inclusion and fairness and approximately equal power? And how do we make everyone feel that they belong to a society and contribute to it? In addition to his research, Professor King is a highly regarded educator who exemplifies the teacher-scholar model, mentoring junior faculty and graduate students to be the scholars of tomorrow. One of the things that Ron does is gets students to not just kind of regurgitate facts and figures, but to analytically think through things, and then to understand why that matters in terms of their political lives. It doesn't really matter what necessarily we believe. Uh, if someone takes a Marxist stance, he'll take a uh, pro-capitalist stance. If someone's pro-capitalist, he'll take a Marxist stance. It has made me more interesting as a person to have conversations with. Now I find myself challenging people when they have you know, basic assumptions about American politics. I'm kind of the one being like, oh well, did you ever think about it from this point of view? Because that's what Professor King does. I think my role as a political science professor is to present fundamental moral dilemmas, put them in front of students, and challenge them to start to construct positions of their own. That is the key to democratic education. As far as I'm concerned, we are training the next generation of engaged democratic citizens.